British fishermen are braced for a decades-long war of attrition with their European counterparts over post-Brexit fishing rights. The industry warned it expects EU-UK relations to turn toxic in future negotiations over access to our coastal waters. This will likely see the return of ugly scenes witnessed off Jersey earlier this year when Navy gunships had to be called in to monitor 60 French boats as they descended on the Isle's main port. The post-Brexit fisheries agreement, signed on Christmas Eve last year, deprived France, and other European countries, of a significant part of their catch. Barry Dess, the chief executive of the National Federation of Fishermen's Organizations, said Brussels would use big power politics to win back some access. He told a media briefing today, My feeling is that because of the deal fishing is likely to be politically toxic between the UK and EU for decades to come. The UK has the legal status of a coastal state, but it's constrained by big power politics from fully utilising those rights. Under the Brexit trade deal, Brussels agreed to hand back 25% of the value of fish caught in British waters over a five-and-a-half-year period. After June 2026, the UK can slash EU catches further but Eurocrats will be able to slap tariffs on fishing products or lock British boats out of the block as compensation. Mr. Des said he had witnessed EU officials crowing over their perceived powers to maintain access to Britain's coastal waters in the future. And he blamed French President Emmanuel Macron for the unruly response of his trawlermen to the Brexit pact. Mr. Des said, French fishermen clearly were sold on the idea that the trade and cooperation agreement meant no change whatsoever, that they had secured, with the help of President Macron, the status quo, and it's not quite the status quo. The NFFO chief urged the government to be steadfast in future wrangling with the bloc over fishing rights after reiterating the UK industry felt December's agreement had been a sellout. Mr. Des argued that the weak deal struck with the EU had been interpreted by other nations as a sign Downing Street would not stand up for its fishermen. The turbulence that has been created has extended to our relations with Norway, he said. Seeing that the UK gave into the EU, Norway is playing quite a dangerous game of hardball on mackerel, at some cost, it has to be said, to their reputation.